Hi everybody and welcome back to Abuti Rams Live. Now this is a show where we get to sit down with some of the leaders and also entrepreneurs in Africa to speak about business and also a lot of uh, opportunities for young people to take advantage of. Thank you so much for subscribing and also liking and commenting on the previous videos. We are excited to bring you yet another exciting uh, uh, video uh, conversation with uh, some of the leaders that we have in the continent and today it is not different um, we are going to have somebody who's going to be blessing us with content and um, only the christian community they speak about uh, blessing and he's not familiar to controversy this man and i think you have seen some of the videos that he has done and some of the lectures and interviews that he has done and i'm talking to none other but that they <laughs> I hope I didn't trick you there with my sepedi. No, mine is finished also. I just know enough. It to, is depleted. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. data that is depleting right you now. You need eh? to top up. You need yeah. to top up. <laughs> we need to top up. So, um, thank you so much for you know uh, welcoming us into your home and also being part of our DRAMS Live. Um, we must say that you know it's a privilege to have you as we are starting this platform. Um, we already you know through you know few episodes, mm -hmm. and you have been bracing us with the, with this opportunity to speak with you. Controversy is, is your middle name, eh? Uh, I think there are a lot of people call you controversial for many reasons, of course, I mean, from the religious sector. Um, but um, I don't want to dwell much onto that part. Um, and, and, and I think people are not clear about that you are actually a business person. Um, and we want to tap into that space where you are a businessman, um, even apart from being a family man and other things as well. But. Um, Next year, is the, you know, we, we are talking about 2020 mm -hmm. and people want to know your title because, you know, you always change titles, per, you know, sometimes, and the other time you're saying that don't, don't call me bishop anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your title yeah. for 2020? I think uh, <laughs> over and above the, the abusive nature of the society, sure. which squares people in holes so that you can manage them, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the proverb says you, can be, you, you must be this mm -hmm. or that. Sure. Whereas it must be you can be this and that. Mm. So growth is progressive. That's good. And for what it is worth, people have, and for next year, for 2020, refuse to be this or that. Mm. Become this and that. So I can be an accountant mm. and a business person and a taxi driver mm. and a painter and a sculptor and a father. And a, we are all multidimensional. I don't know where and how academic <laughs> spaces it's just money to Boxing. zoom one in into one space. But right now you're Malta. You're a cousin, you're a brother, you're a, you're a father, you're a neighbor, you're a, how many are you? <laughs> many in one. Eh? It's for the juggle around all those personalities. So for <laughs> me, maybe for to start with, I mean, I've done the church work for a long time. Sure. The longest part of my life. Mm. And I just feel like church is becoming too slack mm. and comfortable on miracles and doing some sort of rubbish around that space. Mm. Where the social issues are more pressing. Definitely. So I would like to see the movement next year where we can actually get rid of a few churches and convert them into industries. There's no business in you buying a factory out and then members come inside and they're praying for employment. Definitely. Something is surely wrong in terms of your software. Just sure. take it back to factory and everyone can be employed. <laughs> so without necessarily being too, too, too stretching the thing, yeah, but yeah, it will yeah. be important for me to start focusing for next year into issues of social empowerment, sure. uh, get, getting solutions for the people. And anyone who is into that space of now trying to come up with solutions yeah. for, for Africa, the latest book that I've just published, mm. will find some of those issues I want to implement them for yes. next year. Yeah. No, no, speaking about so, uh, the church as being a social space and also an, an economic uh, driver, can we convert a church into a business? And church, can church be a business? Actually, a church must be a business. A church must also be an army. Hmm. And the church must be everything. When the missionaries came here, they did not come alone in the Bible. They came sure. with an army. Hmm. And they came with a bank. They came with a system hmm. that they implemented. For us to be able to complain uh, colonialism in all its faces, from an yeah. academic colonialism, political colonization, pharmaceutical colonization, fashion colonization, hmm. religious colonization, and all these things. Find sure. that the church is right at the center of it. A yeah. church is actually an initiating center for colonialism. Mm. So by the time you're actually getting prepared to be fully colonized, part of coloniality is you must be a church. You, you talk, talk about your name. What's your name? Uh, uh, Dumisani. No, that's not a Christian name. Let's find a good Christian name. You're going to be Peter. Mm. Now, is Dumisani not Christian? 
So you find that Christianity actually is a place where you get baptized mm. into colonialism. Into colonialism. So colon a colonial system needs a colonized to support it. Mm. So the, the journey to begin to refute that. Sure. People call that sure. controversy. I don't call that controversy. Mm. Call it an awakening. Call it an awakening. If you've been it's stepping enough. on me for two days, three days, and finally I discover Ahum Chan. Ah, oh, you've been stepping for No, so man, long. this is not comfortable, man. Can sure. you just move your leg? You don't understand this, but you've been enjoying it. And they don't want the leg to move. Yeah, but you, you have been able to, you've been tolerating it all along. What's wrong now? Sure. People get offended <laughs> by the very fact that you begin to... So for me, for example, without wasting much of your time, <laughs> I do art. I do fine art. I do pay, pay, paintings and stuff like that. Beautiful. Many people don't know I do. I do not spare time. I do some fine sure. paintings. Sure, sure. I do music. I write music for movies, lalela.com, www.lalela.com, mm -hmm. volume 14, which is the latest uh, album right now mm -hmm. in America for movies and etc. Even DSTV and your ETV and etc. And Musanzi uh, Magic, they're also using that portal oh, for, for oh. music. I did Joyas for a few years. Um, yes, yes, I play with 15 days, music yeah. instruments on the side. I publish books also, and mm -hmm. I, I, I sell a bit of that. I do fashion, I do these hats. Yes, I saw the other time on your I social do, media. Yes, I do these walking sticks and uh, I do business consulting also in terms of motivation, crisis management, business mm. negotiations yes. from the top of the food chain like Reserve Bank, right up with the APSAs <laughs> sure. and the insurance okay. fraternities. I was a chaplain for Santaco, the tax organization. Mm. I'm a rider, I do biking also. Because I'm just living, so don't ask me titles. Maybe. <laughs> we'll take, we'll take. Call me biker. Oh, yeah. No, yes, yes, <laughs> that favors uh, uh, part of your life, eh? <laughs> Baiki. But Nade, Mabonga, you, you mentioned something about colonization, and also you mentioned something about the system itself. I mean, in, in Africa, if we were to say that we need to develop an African economy, and I think that's something that you've been passionately speaking about recently, that mm -hmm. we need to develop our own medicine, we need to develop our own system, we need to develop our own money, even. Mm -hmm. um, what it defines an African uh, economy. What is an African economy, if we were to put it in a layman's term? An African economy, basically from my corner, mm. would be uh, owning the value chain, full sure. stop, end mm. to end. The African must own what he consumes. Sure. And when he has made his money, he must be free to put his money where he wants it, mm. where his brothers can also access it. Sure. Without white hands telling us you cannot access the same money that banks are hogging mm. onto, does not belong to them. Yes. It belongs to the same black hands that are putting it inside. But mm. once it is in the coffers, you can't take it out. And there yeah. are huge uh, bank charges that must be implemented. Mm. Let's leave that because that's a colonial system. Mm. If you're talking about an African space, the things like in Lima, for example, yes. when a king gathers his workers, his servants together during a rain season, yes. they work on the king's fields. Mm. When they harvest from those fields, then they're able to take that sum of that and store it with the king. If anyone does not harvest well mm. in the village, then the king takes a bit of that and supports the person. Yes. If the person is getting married and there's no wine, there's no cattle, etc., the family contributes one or two animals each. And when they give, when they bear their calves, the rest of them, they remain with you, but the original cows go back to the... So you have a system actually that allows people to start off life, mm. invest together. And when I have a big field and I cannot work on it alone, in Shona, for example, we have something called Zunde. Yes. Zunde is when I call my neighbors, come and help me work on a field. Mm. And we work together and we harvest. So in, if this stock fell story you're talking about oh, yes, is yes, not yes. being practiced correctly by the banking system. Because well, the sure. banking system, you put a thousand bucks inside, bank charges are 685 rand including managing their account. At the end of the month, you're actually owing the bank for keeping your money. <laughs> no, definitely. So the correct sure. investment strategies are those that are nature-based. Sure. I'm looking at cattle ranging, for example, mm. where it's one cow. End of the year, you've got another cow. 100% return. Mm. Show me one bank account that will give you 100% return. No, no there's none. That's so true. why is it that our banking system is not linking up with the agricultural sector and allow our black people to put money in real investments? Mm. That can actually bring 100% return. Mm. The bank must be paying me for giving them money, not sure. me paying them for sure. looking after my money. Mm. So you are talking about an African economy. We need to own the land, we need to own the water, we need to own the air, sure. we need to own the spaces where we end in own our investments and make it accessible to each other. Mm. The practicality of it. The practical, it just takes one morning when blacks decide to buy black. You cannot be normal in your head when you go to Soweto and spend 55 rand to clean up your car and cheese and yam. Mm. You go to Senten, same person. You can blow up 11,000 without even blinking. Mm. You must be bewitched to the highest order. To your own people, so with this the software sure. is so corrupt to a, to a level that 
we would not even support our own businesses. Yes, yes. With our own money. Yes. We take the same money to the same hands that have colonized us. Mm -hmm. And we we'll spent buying brands. If we, if we say that black people are the ones that need to start at home, she needs to start from us to, to, to buy black, to buy from each other. However, the system is not allowing at some point. I mean, if you're talking about owning stuff, you're talking about owning land and what, who owns these things right now? And if you are going to, you are going to say that we're going to buy things, how are we going to buy things that we haven't owned yet, as yet? How do we actually challenge the right system? Right now it's raining. And I know you are a media person. Sure. It must be frustrating that it's raining. No, because definitely. now it's going to be making noises on the thing. And like many of our black boys who get angry when it rains sure. because they've cleaned up their cars and they're from center. <laughs> sure. But we're a white farmer on the corner of the street. Mm -hmm. Tell me the sound of the rain if it is the same dissonance in the head of a young boy who has, who's got his GTI messed up by the rain. <laughs> if you hear there's a, there's, there's a huge so difference. The, the paradigms are totally different. Sure. To you, nature is, is a nuisance. No, You'd spend time watering grass. Mm, mm. I've just made a revolution. In fact, if it was not raining, I'll have taken you around. I'm claiming some of the grass, then planting vegetables and planting um, herbal medicines around, planting vegetables and stuff that I can eat and consume. So look at the most grass. Yeah, this sure. grass. Sure. Who is grass? Mm. So the, the change of mindset for me to sure. say to the African child, before you can get a wife, mm. you must get a wife. Every African man must have two wives. Mm. The first, first wife, wife is the land. Yeah. And the woman. Mm. If the one is not pregnant, you cannot make the other one pregnant. Sure. We need to start putting this information into the software of our young people. Yeah. That you need yeah. to put value where value is. You cannot be telling that you can, you can afford to pay insurance for three, four, five thousand dollars a month. Paying mm. bonitas, paying uh, mm. the the discoveries, the outsurance. You can pay five thousand, including cars, ten thousand sure. a month. You can mm. afford that. No, definitely. But you cannot take a thousand rand of that and buy a cow every month. Mm. So at the end Absolutely. of the year, you have 12 cows, which are giving you 12,000 return on each. But if time you're selling them 7, 8,000 each. Where do I put the cows? I don't have a car. I don't have a car. So you as young people, for example, get cooperatives. <laughs> sure. Get cooperatives. Rent the farms if you cannot buy them. Mm. Ask mm. the government to give you farms. Land is available. That's a fact. Mm. That's a fact. Sure. It's not that our idea of land. We think land is land. We, we need ar there's arid land and there's mm. productive land. Sure. So we're not be protesting just for land. Mm. We'll give you a pile of stones. What are we going to do with the pile of stones? You can't even plant nothing on the mm. stones. So no, we no, need no. fertile. We need even. I need to correct with the South African population. That's sure. what we need land. We need land. No, only 20 percent, if not 30 percent maximum, of the South African land is healthy and good for agriculture. Interesting. So how about we give the white people the rest of the land and we just take the 20 percent that is fertile? Which they won. Yeah, you have won the, you have won the game. You have, you have lost the war but won the battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. But, but what does it mean for uh, you know, an entrepreneur who's right now in the townships and you know how the, the, the structural uh, development of the township, wow. um, the system that has mm. been done by the apartheid system mm. in, in, uh, in South Africa in particular. How does an entrepreneur who, who's within the township market Start thinking Africa. Start right. thinking. First things first. Mm. The entrepreneur who is in who is in Soweto. Yeah. Is entrepreneur who is in Mkuze. Mm. There are two different entrepreneurs. The, type of yes. the other entrepreneur who is in Soweto is the one who is trying to sell white products. He's trying to break into the milk bread market, trying to break into the taxi, the cars, you know, hiring, sure. hiring cars, mm. selling clothes and etc. Mm. And uh, buying clothes in Dubai, shipping them across and making a product. So you basically are playing the game on the terrain of the colonial wing. Mm. And they already established uh, Craig's and etc. cetera, uh, Flosham shoes and what, what, where is it? Well established, we've been here for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Now you come around your small little brand of uh, Soweto socks, <laughs> and you think you can challenge the system. <laughs> we don't we, without necessarily maybe pouring water on that. Yeah. Firstly, you need to find that your family and your, your, your immediate audience in your environment are your best customers. Mm. So you need a brand that will speak to your local environment okay. and get buy-in and don't buy brands. Own the brands. Sure, sure. See, many of us as Africans who are getting into business have not understood yet the power of putting on your own brand. Mm. Mm. There's nothing wrong to find someone who's selling stuff 
but they never use their stuff. No, sure, they definitely. Do, when good. they make the money, mm. then they go and buy another bread. Mm. I, mean, I like what DJ Sbu did, but yesterday he was putting on that nice big blanket. And I put a note for him, I said, hey, but don't, I hope you, you know, you're not just putting that for the sake of looking, you know, cool, you know. Mm. It's actually a cool bread, and one can use that. So firstly, we need to find the good business within our local families and get buy-in from that. Secondly, maximize on harvesting indigenous knowledge. Mm. What does that mean for us? Get back to the communities mm. and find out exactly what they need and how they need it. Okay. It cannot be right that Macheo is being sold by mainstream white businesses. Definitely. Definitely. Built on dried sure. nuts and, and all these things. People, mm. and they're making a killing out of us. Now yes. tell me if you go back right now into your rural villages, how much more of indigenous knowledge is lying around and it has not yet been harvested and the world is looking for that. Mm. So this, this goes for the whole fraternity, sure. from architecture into my normal rampage of medicines and etc and etc. Right now if you can get one medicine, walk up to your university, get it tested, active ingredient discovered, get the IP of that. If you can produce one tablet, you have a billionaire a few times around. The process, the process. Five years. But if you are planting vegetables, then you sure. can eat vegetables. If you are planting fruits, trees, sure. then you can eat salads, fruit yeah. salads. So it, it, you're still going to struggle for five years. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah, no. so you harvest indigenous knowledge. For me, that would be the next thing for 22. Even now for holidays, sure. I would challenge many of our young people, go back home, go back to the villages, look at the water infrastructure, look at the cultural centers, look at the midwife stories, look at youth development issues, look at mm. the, uh, the hospitals and, and see, find find a gap there where your presence in that community can actually for answer the question. And for those who are going to university, mm. simple advice, don't mm. go to university and apply for a place go there with a problem and spend the next four years finding solutions to that problem. Sure. By the time you graduate, you've written 10 papers, you've done researches on how to fix that problem. I can't understand how the colleges producing so many graduates in mm. electrical engineering and right now we've lost it. Does not make sense. It does not make sense. That all, all of you put together. Sure, sure. Level six, level twelve, plus mm. universities, all of them, from Stellenbosch. Mm. to technical colleges in Pretoria and Pumalanga. Mm -hmm. Electricians are everywhere. And and amongst all places. of you, the whole fraternity cannot solve South African problem. Then mm -hmm. either our electricians are brain dead or our colleges are totally disconnected sure. from the communities where they're coming from. And number three, then you maximize on the social network platforms. Mm. They're okay. no longer, you're no longer limited mm. by the, the, the environments of your environment. I mean, you can, I, can I, I made this and I put something, I got orders from London, I got orders from America. And my books are stocked up in American universities and stuff like that. From here, and it costs me nothing, 29 rand data. So instead of you doing data and doing WhatsApp video calling, mm -hmm. use data wisely, clean up your, your, your social spaces, populate them with your products, and start making those things work for you. Mm -hmm. So for that's my three, my three steps advice I can give someone. Yes. Identify indigenous knowledge systems, mm. package them nicely, mm. maximize on your social media space again, mm. and stuff like that. And above all, invest in things that gives you maximum return. Go back and find those methods. We can put your money back. Sure, sure. Friends, you heard what uh, Nadama Bongo has, has said about, you know, maximizing, you know, um, the indigenous, indigenous knowledge. And I think one thing that we want to also speak about is, is his movement as well, that he just established that. I don't know if you are with uh, other people as well, the African indigenous uh, movement. Uh, maybe tell us about, a bit about that and then also the, the, the latest book that you have published now. The African aim, aim, aim. Aim, yes. yes. Okay. Which, you can, which you can convert it from aim to I am. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, nice. Yes. yes. You can work, read it backwards and make a fusion there. But sure. aim is a, is a product of farmers of thought. Farmers yes, of thought, which yes, is the organization that I'm working in. And aim now decides to look into the African platform in its totality. Sure. It's, it's going to be a library, as it is oh, already. Okay. A virtual library. Mm. of social re-engineering. You're going to be hearing lots of new words today. Mm. It's a library of social re-engineering. Yeah. What do I mean? I did about 65 articles in total of African solutions, which I want to upload to a portal. Mm. Then I want to get the works of Nyerere, works of Sinkara, uh -huh. works of Lumumba, sure. Kwame Nkrumah, you know, uh, Mandela, for some as etc. Mm. But I'll package all of them. That when it comes to land reform, and popular as it is, I think the Mugabe route is the only method that white mm -hmm. people understand. Sure. When it comes mm -hmm. to education, and you know, I will identify maybe someone else when it comes to social work, Chama Chama Pinduza, sure. that is from the Herere side, when it comes to imprisonment and fighting for it, fighting for it, or pick Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. But I want to create a, 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 a virtual warehouse 
sure. of information. Should the children from Gambia, should children from Mauritania, from anyone mm. from Egypt, from from Swaziland, etc. People want to do a social change. Mm. They must actually find that someone has thought through yeah. the social systems. Because right now, every revolution mm. struggles with IP. Yep. We don't know whether to go to Che Guevara, to go to uh, Castro, as a, to go to Marxism. Mm. Imagine, imagine an African mm. st proudly standing and say, I'm a Marxist. I'm a Marxist, eh? And say, what, what, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, I look at EFF with all due respect. I look at EFF, sure. I look at BLF, and, all, and, and their inclination, and, and even AMC. And their inclination and obsession with Marxism mm. as, as a Maximus and a, and a way of governance. Sure. They're still saying we want to collect the same colonial system that oppressed us and we want to have that system in our hands so that we can colonize you as fellow blacks. Sure. So we're basically changing hyenas with foxes. Mm. And in my own world, it makes no difference at all. If Malema wants, wants me for the one on one, I'm ready. But I want to challenge him and say, even if we should give you the government to run tomorrow, what is it they're going to do differently? You're just going to become the new president, sure. printing more ideas. You know, putting your money in the same banks. Show me what you're going to do. BLF, come forward. AMC, come forward. IFP, come forward. Mm. So all of them, you find that these are children of one mother who just want to have power. But none of them is willing to challenge the system. Head-on collision. And so we want the insurance companies. We want the medicine. We want the hospitals. We, 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 want, we want the banks. We, we want the education system. We want so, to change the curriculum and put our own history in those books. We, 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 we say no to vaccinations. How do you vaccinate me when I'm not sick? Hmm. How does that happen? What's yeah. the agenda? What's the agenda? What's this agenda sure. of same sex, for example, the, the agenda of, uh, you know, polyandries, the agendas of, mm. you know, I'm not saying they're not important, but imagine where non-employment is sitting at 35 to 50%. Mm. And people are sitting in parliament discussing peripheral issues of abortion. Sure. And how we can kill children, at what sex, at what age our children must be taught sex, mm. at the ages of 9, 10 or 12, while sure. Chinese people are learning how to manufacture and design stuff. Sure. Our kids are learning how to masturbate and do rubbish in there. So when they grow up, these kids, what are they going to, what are they going to produce? You tell me, in the name of sanity. Sure. And I'm willing to challenge such, such platforms and say, man, mm. education department just come forward. Even if I saw a document the other day, no, we don't mean it like that. We mean to say like this. No, 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 no. But all that writing and the literature you're using has not been thoroughly researched sure. and respects the local environment. Mm -hmm. It's a Western agenda of the United Nations, which we all know. Sure. So what's new about it? Mm -hmm. So we want, if you say you want change, then change is what Definitely. we need. Sure. Not superficial sugar coating problems. We mm. want real change. Rich government change, governing systems. Who said the president of the country owns the country when the kings are there? Why are they quarantined into contra lesser and non-important in, in, in environments when in fact kings have more affinity and closeness to the land than the president is? Which land recognizes the president? The other day they were busy laughing at me over the Angus story, book and book and Oh book. yeah. Angus. Yeah, and I said, no, Angus is right. If the Europeans made a contract with covenant with, uh, with God at the uh, Vutrecha monument, sure. what stops your African leaders to also have their own contract and covenant with whoever they believe in as a nation. But will our president ever be able to gather people around social, spiritual issues? Or we just have a businessman running a country? So those issues for me needs conversation. Who should run the country? The people who own the country, the people must run the country. Mm. I believe in a federal, federal system yeah. where the, the government must be asking from the local people what they need. Sure. For, for people must commission. Mm. must commission politicians to run the state, not politicians telling the community what they're going to do. Mm. It's a total opposite. We're putting the horses and the chariots messed up. <laughs> now, you know, something interesting as well that has been happening recently in South Africa right now with the issue of the xenophobic attacks. Mm. And, and we've been speaking about Africa intertrading for, for the longest of time, in which, of course, I believe that politicians are just, you know, trying to get us to vote for them, of course, about um, Africa intertrading. Mm. What do you think um, South Africans need to learn and understand about Africa? Because I think there's a missing link right there in terms of understanding where they belong. I think that South Africans just feel like they are in some other continent outside of Africa at some yeah. point. And, yeah. and, and it, it, that is the first question. The second question, I want us to, 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 to learn from Africans. What can we learn from other African uh, countries right now which are thriving? You look at your likes of your Kenya, mm -hmm. your Rwanda, that are actually thriving, even in the technology space as well yeah two things to, to consider is that 1 billion people 1.2 1.3 billion people in, Af in, Af in Africa mm. uh, South Africa must be very envious mm. of its platform 
on the greater continent and the impact that it can have over and above it being an, an African country. Yeah. But if it can just maybe look at it itself as a manufacturer and look at Africa as its consumers, mm. then already mm. we can have a relationship, a business relationship with okay. South Africa, mm. which is a technical business relationship where Af South Africa can actually look at Africa as its primary market. Mm. where many of the products that we are producing here can actually be consumed across the borders. Mm. And this again speaks not the issues of borders, preferential trading areas, mm. commerces for example, yes. United yes. Nations, Africa Union and all those things that, are you really honest that you can be beating up local, local Afri fellow Africans mm. and then you still go back to them with your products again? Look, that just one week, look the amount of damage that happened to other checkers and other businesses. Yes, that in other countries as well. So firstly, maybe for South Africans, what can we learn? Maybe let's just learn to do business. And do let's do business nicely. The customer is always right. Sure. And just South Africans, just treat fellow Africans like they are good customers. What do you think they don't understand about? I'm coming business? to the next one. All right. Cool. So if, if you don't understand how business works, sure. You go shambooking up your, yeah, your, sure. your customers, mm -hmm. then you, you know what you're losing out on. Mm. If you wait statistics and people are open enough to say from the time xenophobia happened to the time it ended, how much business in terms of tourism and by the went time. down. The, the, no one will only bring that information up. Hmm. Though we know the run did not go up or down. Sure. Because the white man does not care as long as blacks are killing each other. Mm. But let someone say something about land, then the run coughs on the other end. <laughs> but 55, sure. 60 people dead later in a country, it does not affect nice. <laughs> the going up and down. I'll leave that for your own research. Number sure. two, I'm a Piri myself. Yes. From a, from, uh, from Zimbabwe. Mm. But Piri is also close to the Shoko, which is Nube, mm. baboons. Yes. So if you are Piri in, in, in Malawi, mm. you are Mkanya, Shoko, Shoshe, in Zimbabwe. Mm. You are Kabo in Botswana, mm. which is Kabo. the Kabo mm. yes. Then you become Skosana in the Ndevele space. Mm -hmm. You become a Fakudze, you become a Mtolo. Then in the coastal land, you are Jambas, Shat, Ulis. In the Lesotho area, you are Mtweneng. Mm. So basically, from is is a great rift valley coming down. Once your totem is clear, you should be able to know that the Piri cannot be beating up a Mube. Mm. Mube cannot be fighting with the Jambas. The Jambas cannot be beating up a Skosana. Sure, it's one Senem fighting. Usbanda, the lion, Bumtau, Mushumba. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sure. How? Where do we miss the Usbanda? How do we miss it? when actually the same Senem is there. So for us as South Africans, or many of the South African community who thought and think that their Senems have fallen from heaven, you, you, you're missing it. No one mm. came from the sea. We all come from the north, sure. coming down this way. And because we come from the north, we are connected more as an African family than we are with passports and the color of our, of our ID books. Mm. Africans are one big family. And it would be nice for fellow South Africans to begin to look up north to find their own identities. Sure. But when you're only, for example, who are you? The Ongwes, Mugabe, for example. He was a crocodile. Mugushu, yes, of course. Mugtimand. Mm. You know, the queen. Same thing. So yes, how, yes. How, how can Mugwena be busy swearing and cursing Mugabe? And say, you know, because you don't actually have, have an understanding of your own culture. So the anthropology, this kind of information, by the way, when you talk like this, yeah. this is what our books must look like. Mm. This is what our high school uh, and research institutions of our colleges must mm. be researching on. Mm -hmm. If you say you're running a humanities department, University of Cape Town, University of Petersburg, University of uh, Fitz, mm. you're running a humanities department. And in that humanities department, the students walk through your own corridors, finish up their studies without knowing themselves. Mm. But having memorized William Shakespeare and no. Charles Dickens, they can tell you the history of, 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 of the Charlemains and Bolsheviks. Sure. Backwards, how Napoleon lost the battles of the Rhines. Mm. They don't know all that stuff. Mm. But the, mm. the last thing that the colonial education will not do is to introduce the African to himself. Because once Africa unites, the party is over. Colleagues, Lee Goodrich, I think the man has said a lot, a mouthful, in terms of us as, as Africans to harness this uh, knowledge that we have. And I think it is upon us as Africans to start harnessing this information and this knowledge to, to better our lives in terms of the economy, in terms of taking spaces within the business sector. And I think how do we develop African entrepreneurs is, 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 a, is, a, is a thing that we need to be doing moving from 2020 onwards. 
what are the things that we need to be learning and this is the platform where we are talking about this type of issues and thank you so much for tuning into Abu Dhrem's life Ndatemaponga thank you so much for um, you know giving us the time to listen to you know little time that you have uh, given us to hear your wisdom in terms of taking Africa forward in terms of business so thank you so much for the, for that welcome 